Tell me when you see something that makes sound. I see a speaker, which makes sound. What is that part of the speaker called? That is the tweeter. It produces high frequency. What does that part of the code do? This code defines encryption and decryption functions. It seems to use AESCBC encryption to encode and decode data based on a key and an initialization vector, IV. What neighborhood do you think I'm in? This appears to be the King's Cross area of London. Today we have some exciting new progress to share about the future of AI assistance that we're calling Project Astra. For a long time, we've wanted to build a universal AI agent that can be truly helpful in everyday life. Google DeepMind CEO making his first appearance on stage made what was the biggest announcement of the Google I.O. event. He unveiled Project Astra, something that Google calls a universal AI assistant to help with daily life. Astra is basically a multimodal AI assistant, which means it's trained on audio, visuals, images, videos, text, and it can give data in all these formats. This comes as Google fights back just a day after OpenAI launched GPT-4.0, which also has some stunning and similar capabilities. Is the king in residence at the moment? Yes, it looks like the king is in residence right now. The royal standard flag is flying above Buckingham Palace, which is the signal that the monarch is present. How exciting to be there while the king is home. But while at least according to both Google and OpenAI's demos, the GPT-4.0 seems to sound a lot more natural and human-like, and its abilities appear to be a little superior to Google's Astra, Astra has one feature that GPT-4.0 doesn't seem to, a built-in memory. This means that after it scans the scene, it can remember where specific items are. Do you remember where you saw my glasses? Yes, I do. Your glasses were on the desk near a red apple. Though the memory window is short right now, it has some amazing possibilities. Project Astra is in the research preview stage, but Google plans to bring some of these capabilities into products like the Gemini app later this year. Now, one thing that Google has been completely dominant in for a long time is Google Search. And this is set to be completely revamped with AI overviews, which is going to be rolled out immediately in the US and soon in other countries. Here's what AI overviews can do. We're making AI overviews even more helpful for your most complex questions. The type that are really more like 10 questions in one. You can ask your entire question with all its sub-questions and get an AI overview in seconds. I'm really excited to share that soon you'll be able to ask questions with video. Why will this not stay in place? And in a near instant, Google gives me an AI overview. I guess some reasons this might be happening and steps I can take to troubleshoot. <laughs> Google also had another interesting announcement, VO, their text-to-video generator tool. Basically, you can just describe what you want. For example, a cinematic still of a lone sailboat in whichever context you want, and it'll generate it. Or a detailed jungle trail in Hawaii and specify the lighting that you want. Interestingly, this is also similar to OpenAI's text-to-video tool called Sora, which Sam Altman even let users test a couple of months ago. You can check out more about that in the video link on the top right. These are both quite cool. So yes, Google has fought back and how. Of course, how effective the actual use cases are, we'll know when we can utilize it for ourselves. Hope you enjoyed this video. For more such content, keep watching Mint.